Welcome to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be talking about these components that I have here. Um, this right here is a computer, a cabin computer, Cascadia. And this right here is an engine computer. And plus we have this plug right here. And this is something very important that we're going to be talking about. Um, but uh, uh, we're going to leave that for later. Uh, a little introduction about this. Uh, if you don't know what a computer is on vehicles, uh, it's basically what controls the vehicle completely. You, as the driver, you drive your truck, you press the gas pedal. Uh, it's not you directly um, doing something to the engine by pressing the gas. Their computers then are communicating. So when you press the gas, between there is a uh, between the engine and the, and the in the cabin, there is those two computers, and so there's digital signals that go through, and that is how they communicate on how you uh, you are requesting, what you're requesting, if you are accelerating, disaccelerating, or you simply cruising. So, um, and that's the reason why we need computers nowadays, and also computers are very important to control emissions and stuff like that. So, uh, um, that is uh, the reason why one nowadays any vehicle has computers. Um, but with computers, you create problems. And these problems are going to be very, very specific and very hard to find. And that is the reason why I have these components right here and with the plug. Um, as you know, a, a computers fail over the time. That's completely normal. There is nothing new about that. Uh, there, is, there is no guarantee that the computer is going to last 10 years. But also there is no guarantee that the computer is going to fail. So it is 50-50, I will say. So, um, uh, but it is not just the computer, the one in charge to communicate between one computer and another computer. There is always something in between, and that is wiring, plugs, cables, uh, junctions, and whatever, whatever is in between that. So, uh, and this is the reason why it's very important. A lot of the problems that happen in electronics are uh, related to cables uh, something that is not connected properly so in this case i will tell you about the specific, this specific plug that i have here about the problem that i had um uh, i had a problem uh with a truck an older truck 2011 then came and it was missing acceleration every time every time it was missing acceleration and um after going through so many things uh, nothing fixed the problem nothing nothing fixes the problem so he was continuously doing the same problem uh, replacing this computer replacing the engine computer still the problem continued um, and then uh, of course like here we have the plug and uh, I was inspecting the uh, pins measuring every single pin voltage signal and everything and, and everything was there everything and there was nothing missing Every single time I was reading every single pin, it was reading the right information, the right reading, the right voltage, the right uh, digital digi signal. So um, there was no way to uh, uh, to understand the problem because everything was there, everything was normal. But uh, when the truck was parked, running, it has no problem. But then when the truck was on motion, it started to have those problems. And at the time we uh, stopped to check the plug, I mean, the signal was back on the, on, to the plug. So um, that gave me to the conclusion and gave me uh, the idea that I might believe that the plug is bad. And uh, I didn't think that the plug was bad because I was like, okay, it's very rarely when these plugs are bad. Usually when you have a problem happens somewhere else in the wiring, then it's rubbing, chaffing, or touching some kind of metal. And it's like uh, it being in contact with negative source, positive source, and that is the reason why we have many different problems. But in this case, the problem was right at the plug. And the um, major problem was then the actual wiring was exposed, you can see. The whole wiring right here is was exposed, and that is the reason why we were getting this problem. Um, uh, this is one of the main reasons why it's important to check every single thing. I fell the first time to inspect this because I told him the plug didn't have no problems, but uh, I'm telling you then, uh, it is not about what you think, it is about what you see. So if you see and there is no problem with this, you discard it, but if you think 
you never gonna inspect it. So I made the mistake to just don't look at it, don't uh, uh, go through it, and that's the reason why I did so much. Like uh, uh, we can say uh, uh, extra labor than didn't fix the problem, just because I didn't inspect the plug freeze. And I did inspect the plug, but not the way I needed to inspect it. Because usually the plug is all covered with everything. So I was just like thinking then, okay, the plug is all covered. So there is not way then something can happen inside the plug. But I mean, you can see then the wires are exposed completely. So they were shorting each other. And that was the reason why we were having these kind of problems. Um, and uh, there is no way to determine this problem without taking the whole plug apart, removing every single cover, and, and that's the only way you're gonna determine the problem. But uh, this is the reason why it's very important to pay attention. So uh, uh, in conclusion, I will tell you that electronic problems are pretty extensive, pretty hard to find. In some cases, they take years. In some cases, they take days to fix, depending on how intensive the problem is. Um, and uh, in this case, I spent so much time trying to fix this problem, and uh, but you know, I got something new, and that's the reason why I'm sharing with you guys. So uh, in con uh, I would say then, if you guys are in the uh, diagnostic uh, uh, industry, if you are a mechanic or you are a person that wants to know about diagnostic uh, on, on repairing electronic problems, how to diagnose something, I would say then uh, you have to see every single thing. You don't have to miss anything, nothing. So if you leave something behind without shaking it out, you will probably regret it later because probably that was the reason of the problem, but because you told them that wasn't the, that wasn't the problem, you didn't inspect it. So uh, it happened to me and it will continue to happen forever because this is something that we learn, this is something that uh, we need to understand and we only we're gonna understand and learn until the problem happens. And this is the case. So um, uh, it's very important then if you are going to uh, do any type of repairs when it comes to computer and, and, and modules and whatever, um, don't just buy new parts, try to see if you can get, you get used parts or maybe swap them for another truck so that way you can save money. Uh, because uh, when it comes to electronic failures, um, it is not guaranteed and that will fix the problem until it fixes, it is completely fixed. But uh, uh, but if, if you go to the dealer or to the store and buy a new computer and the computer didn't fix the problem, that's like $1,800 that you just wasted. And then you just go and buy the other computer. I mean, that's another $1,800 that you just wasted. So that's like, a, well, like over $3,000 you just spent for no reason. So that is the reason why it's important to have backup uh, computers or, you know, like in some cases go and borrow computers from other trucks, just make sure to don't damage them so that way you can put them back to the truck and don't um, increase the amount of expense you have to do to understand the problem that you are facing. Um, but uh, 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 this, is, this is doesn't mean then uh, the problems are going to be that simple, like just to go and check what is the problem. All the problems are different depending on the manufacturer, depending on the year, depending on the, on the truck uh, and the application of the truck too, because some trucks with different applications, they create different problems. Um, but uh, that is the reason why you need to understand different problems and see what is the best to uh, do to this truck, what is the best to do this to this other truck and things like that. So that way at the end you get to understand what is the best, what is the way to repair one thing, what is the best to repair another thing using the computer, using the uh, software, using whatever, using uh, tools to determine the problems. Um, and uh, I, I'm, just sharing, I'm just sharing a little more experience about how it's like to be a diagnostic uh, mechanic because that is the hardest area of mechanics um, in uh, automotive world in general, uh, understanding the problems, finding the problems. Like uh, I know for sure then I can do a video about, uh, oh yeah, this is the problem, this, this is what breaks, so you replace it. So that's the easy part. But how do I know that is the problem? So that is the reason why I'm doing this kind of videos. And I will do more videos like this so that way you can understand how it's like to be a mechanic that understands
problems, not just prepare the problem, just understand the problem, like you get to see step by step on how slide to get to pinpoint the problem, even though you have no information on what slide to uh, uh, repair this thing. Because in most cases, I don't use any type of information to uh, diagnose these problems, and that is that's the reason why uh, it's very important to use your 100% of, uh, of your brain so that way you can get the maximum amount of experience instead of just reading, instead of just uh, seeing videos and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes you have to use your brain 100% so that way you get to the bottom of the, uh, of the process of diagnosing a problem. So at the end, you get experience and you can share uh, 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 and when a neutral comes, uh, you uh, you are able to do a better job and solve problems easier. But anyway, this is for the topic uh, about this uh, specific problem that I have here. So in general, I would say you have a computer, uh, you have a problem with a computer, I'm sorry. Uh, don't just replace the computer, go through it, you know, like inspect things. And, uh, and as I said before, I mean, just find a used computer if you have, so that way you don't spend any money. And uh, if it doesn't fix the problem, well, I mean, just continue on looking. But don't leave, don't leave anything behind. Check thing by uh, thing by thing. I mean, uh, component by component. And, and and if you don't remember, write it up. I mean, put it on a paper. Okay, I already checked the computer, the engine computer. I already checked the uh, wiring of the computer. I already checked the the uh, hardness of the computer and all that. So that way you get to the bottom of the uh, problem than this. Uh, specific engine or truck is giving you. So as it is, this is all. Um, ho hopefully you like this video and if you don't, please comment below and let me know what I did wrong and I will try to improve it next time. So in Instagram, you can find me as Francisco Maya YouTube. You wanna come to the shop, just look me. You look for me on Google Maps, Francisco Maya, CCS Free Services, 8215 Beach Avenue. You wanna, direct, uh, direct, uh, wanna have a direct address to a, a location to the shop and that's all for now so stay tuned for more videos and for videos just like this thank you